It's Yono, not YOLO. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to review a Nintendo Switch eShop game called Yono and the Celestial Elephants. Now, I have talked with the developer of this game. It is created by one man. Now, we emailed and he sent me a review copy so that I could review this game. And now that I have played it, I can tell you what I think of it. Now, Yono and the Celestial Elephants, the gameplay is kind of like Zelda gameplay, I would say, yeah. You move around the boxes in order to solve puzzles and you help people. Like in Zelda, let's say that one person wants this specific item that another person has, but that person wants another item that another person has. And so it is like a chain of events, kind of like in Zelda, let's say, with the mask business in Ocarina of Time. So it definitely makes me think back on that. The entire game is made like in a linear path, you start at one point, you progress through a lot of puzzle kind of rooms, and then you hit a town. Now in the towns, that is where all the fun stuff happens, and you talk with a lot of people, and actually the dialogue in this game is very well written, well done. The dialogue was really interesting, and I felt like I never wanted to miss out on any dialogue, because everything was so well written. It made talking with the townspeople so much more interesting, now there are three towns in this game. After you hit the first town, you then are presented with some kind of like, they have some kind of issues in their town and then you have solved all of that. You progress through a uh, another section with a lot of puzzles and you hit another town and they have their problems. So much fun, you feel like you're really just walking around helping people but that is kind of like what he likes doing. He actually came down from the sky in order to just walk around and like help people a little bit. So you really get that feeling and uh, never once was it boring, no. Now the puzzles themselves, they are easy. I feel like this could be a really great game for kids, for small children. Maybe this could even be like a first game for small children. It's very cozy, it's very cute. Everyone says that, it's really cute. Because uh, you don't often see elephants in games. Uh, so I felt like that is uh, there's something we don't see very often. Each town has a train station. And in these train stations, from there you can fast travel to all previous places very convenient so, so you can kind of see from there where you're supposed to go at the end of the game you should be unlocking all of these uh, gates to the different uh, kinds of train stations now like i said each town has a lot of quests another thing you do in this game you collect coins and use them for buying your color variations on your elephant this <laughs> this was quite fun i really like the denim one you can even have a zelda costume you can clearly see that it's link you know it's quite cool, quite cool stuff. Another thing that I found really fun with this game is that you can find letters around, just like coins, and you use them in the lore book uh, at the palace of the wise men, let's say. And that way you can unlock lores, and that is where this game really took me by surprise. The lore in this game is surprisingly deep and brutal, and it's about like earlier wars and deaths and like bloodsheds and a lot of like things that will really make you think. It's surprisingly deep for being in a, such a like cheerful game that made a really nice contrast to this game. The tragic kind of backstories of this world really freaking interesting. Now you collect health tokens as well. When you have collected four of them, you get an extra heart container, just like in The Legend of Zelda, but it's, uh, it's not heart, uh, it's more like a square. The controls are, you walk around, you cannot jump. That was kind of like, you cannot jump, but that would have ruined a lot of the puzzles actually, when I think about it. So it's a good thing that you cannot jump because the puzzles are good the way that they are now. You attack by just headbutting into, uh, uh, people <laughs> that is uh, the only attack that you have but uh, it's good enough uh, I didn't mind you walk around you pick up stuff you can actually pick up um, like things and throw them around like break pots that is cool and you can blow your trunk what <laughs> yeah like elephant trunk you can blow it and, uh, and stuff happens you can even blow away like fallen leaves and see what's under there and like you can blow on a lot of things yeah so the people in the lore, they are deep, deep stuff. The music is really good, actually. Uh, I didn't uh, find any tunes in this game that I didn't like. 
I very much enjoyed the music. It is so well done. Uh, and let's just say I am honest now because I have played a lot of Switch games recently that I am thinking to myself, wow, this music it really sucks. Not with this game though. That is uh, another game that I'm going to review later. The graphics are really cozy, cute, colorful. I, uh, I enjoy colorful graphics, we all know this. Uh, colorful graphics is my thing. Uh, it's fun gameplay, you can break pops. The price? It is irrelevant. Just kidding. Irrelevant. Did you get it? No, I'm just kidding. So, do I recommend this game? Yes, I do. Pick it up, pick it up today. It's fun and I felt like I lost track of time when I played this because, okay, the deep lore that's where uh, the interest really hit me and with the gameplay, collecting the letters to progress these lore books, super fun. I really recommend this game. If anything I said today sounded interesting to you, check it out further if you want to. Now, thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate your like and your subscription and your comment. So, that was all for today everyone. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you later. Bye! <laughs>